Hey everyone, it's Kristen and I wanted to talk to you about my Mood Swings Emotion Cards. I actually made this uh, deck a little while ago and I really have not made a video for it. So I just thought I'd take some time and tell you a little bit about the cards and just show you some of the cards. So this is a deck of emotions um, and I designed it because I wanted I wanted a deck of, of just emotions. Uh, sometimes we're, we're interpreting cards, tarot cards, oracle cards, and we have to figure out what emotion is being conveyed. Um, and sometimes it's just, it's kind of confusing. So I wanted a deck that was very straightforward with presenting different emotions so that it was really clear. You didn't have to think about it too much. And I was looking for that deck because sometimes I have a question like, what's the underlying emotion here? Like, what, what is the person really feeling? Sometimes, you know, people will say, oh, I'm not angry, I'm not upset, and you know that that's not the truth. Um, there's something underneath of whatever they're, they're presenting. And so that's one of the reasons why I created this deck, to find out. You know, what's the underlying emotion? What are the true emotions that the person's feeling? What are they presenting versus, you know, what's really happening with them on an emotional level? And I um, created this. I'm just going to show you some of the cards. I created this. This one is for anxiety. I created this using um, different colors and kind of like a splotchy pattern. My thought is that emotions show up um, I think energetically for me, like as colors and they show up in different places in the body. I've studied uh, traditional Chinese medicine and which associates different emotions with different organ systems. And I also, you know, have studied a little bit of body psychology. So for me, um, connecting emotions to different colors and regions of the body was just, um, Kind of obvious for me so I used a an app this one is discussed I used an app called um, Taya Sui sketches and another one called photo Hi uh, what's it called photo artista haiku um, to make these images this one is for passion and because I wanted it to be just over a silhouette of a body and just really to emphasize the colors in just kind of the way that um, that feeling might look. That's really what I was going for. How would that feeling look? So for example, this is remorse. So you can see that darkness kind of in the heart area. And so I'm just gonna show you a few more of these disapproval one is adoration this one is guilt this one is pain there could be any kind of pain emotional pain even physical pain um, love And anger. I also have indifference. You really don't care one way or the other. Um, acceptance. This one is grief. Defiance with the really bold colors. Loneliness. I made this one very pale. This one to me is curiosity. Stress.
worry. And so uh, this one I really like, this is hopelessness. And um, so there's a good mixture of light and shadow cards, like challenging cards um, or challenging emotions. But to me, they're all read positively in the sense of just acknowledging and accepting that emotion. So I, um, I wanted to talk really quickly about some different ways that you could use the deck. I am usually just like, you can use it any way that you want, any way that you see fit, any way, creative way that you choose to use it. Um, you know, that's really completely up to you. One of the ways that I have been using it, I've kind of created a little spread. I'm going to show you an example here. Um, and I really like this type of reading. I get a lot of information from it. And it's a reading that you would use um, to figure out what are the underlying emotions in a situation. So looking at these three cards, the first card is always going to be the surface emotion. This is usually what the person will acknowledge um, or, you know, but this is their persona. This is how they're coming across right now. These are the feelings right at the top. What's underneath is going to be the second card. And so this this is really what's under that facade or whatever they're presenting to you. And then the third card is the root emotion. And it really is the answer to the question. So it's the root of all of the other emotions. So I, I love this sense of layering the, the emotions that, you know, we're really complex uh, as humans and we don't just have one emotion or one set of feelings about something a lot of times there's just this com complex layering of emotions and so in this particular reading this was about um, a financial vibration it's kind of like what's the what's the real emotions behind this person's financial situation financial outlook and the first card is a card that's for confidence. So it's showing um, if you were to ask this person, they would say, I feel really confident about my finances, where I am financially with the money that I have in my bank. But if we look at what's underneath of it, it's fear. So even though they're presenting very confidently, they may not actually feel confident about their finances. They may actually be very afraid maybe of not making enough or not having enough. Um, you know, not being in a stronger financial position. And the third card is showing the root issue. So it's really what's beneath the fear. Um, so beneath the fear is boredom. And that's a really interesting card to have here. It makes us think that maybe they associate financial success with boredom. Like that if, that you, if you have one, you're going to be bored. You know, if you have if you, if you have a lot of money or in order to make a lot of money, it's just a boring thing. You got to get a boring job and you got to work nine to five or, you know, something like that. So I have found that, you know, just doing, pulling these, you know, three cards uh, in this type of reading can be really enlightening um, for, for any type of situation to really understand what's going on. Um, in any type of situation, what, what are the real emotions going on there? And then you can also use the cards. Let's say you just picked one card from the deck to figure out an emotion that you're feeling right now. Again, a lot of times you're not even aware that you are, that there's an emotion that maybe is under the surface. And let's say you picked fear. Okay, but now you, now you need to know what are you afraid of? So you go to your tarot deck, for instance, and maybe you pick this card, the Two of Cups. This is a fear of relationship, of connection, bonding with someone. So I think, you know, this is a great deck to use with your other decks, your Oracle cards, your tarot cards. And if you have a special way to use it, please let me know. I always like to see how people use my decks. So if you have this deck, um, like I said, I'd love to see how you're using it. If you don't have it, I hope that you get it. 
and enjoy it.